Danian Brinkley says he was dead for 28 minutes after being struck by lightning here in Aiken, South Carolina. He says he went to a cathedral of light and met angels and then he woke up in the hospital morgue. I have an appointment to see Danian, but first I meet a local journalist, Carl Langley, who was with him the day after he was struck by lightning. In September of 75, I got a call and said that Danny Brinkley said he'd been hit by lightning. I went down to visit with him, and he said he was dead for five minutes, you know. Well, now he says 28 minutes. 28 minutes? Good for him. That's all I got to say about that. He says he woke up in the morgue. Woke up in the morgue? I never heard that story. Carl says the Augusta Library should have a copy of the article he wrote the day after Danian was hit by lightning. It should prove whether Danian has exaggerated over the years the number of minutes he was dead from 5 to 28. Phone call almost cost him his life. Have you found it? Right there, that's his wife, that's him right there. Radically, Mrs. Brinkley began pounding away on her husband's chest. I was out for a few minutes and she saved my life, Danny said, in the story. So who saved Danian's life? His wife, according to what he said. Not the paramedic or the, or the morgue attendant? No, he was conscious when he left the trailer. This is Dr. Eves, Danian's doctor. He says he was with Danian within an hour of him being struck by lightning and he seemed fine. When I saw him, he was completely lucid and, of course, since then I've heard other stories that I read in the paper about him being uh, pronounced dead and, and uh, they'd pulled a sheet over him. No, that's not true. Did he mention anything to you about going into a light and seeing a cathedral and that was meeting all, God? The only time I knew about that was when I read about it in the newspaper later. A book he wrote, somebody, he wrote a book, you know. And he sold right good many of them locally, I think, but I didn't buy one, I didn't get a read about it. It was 35 weeks on the New York Times bestsellers list. You kidding.